I've had uh, a couple of requests to show my irrigation system here in the vegetable garden. So I'm going to be doing that right now. Um, this one has a hybrid system. Uh, I call it hybrid because it's got, it's got some drip tape. It's got some um, uh, emitters. It's got um, some, what I, I don't know what you call it, just going down the going down the spout here of this uh, earth box. I've got a tube going down into the field tube of an earth box. What I did was just come off the um, uh, come off the faucet with um, a filter. Uh, that's a filter. That's a low, that's a pressure regulator and then come down here. All of that is is a uh, half inch main line and I just came under underground put it underground here so I could mow uh, past my um, so I could mow the, the edge here so I've got that's underground and then I've got it run uh, the length of these containers here uh, the entire length all the way down and I've just tapped into it uh, you can see where I've done that, just tapped into the line. That line just runs up into the earth box, and this is a great way to do an automatic, automatic earth box watering. In fact, this is the way they do it. They sell an earth, uh, an automatic uh, watering kit, and this is it, basically. Uh, I don't have this on a timer. I uh, probably should, because I left it on way too long the other day. But, um, so I come, come off with that one, with the, it's got an emitter on it, but it, it goes down in the hole, the drip, um, the uh, fill tube of the earth box. And that's okra, which is doing fantastic in the earth box. Eight okra in an earth box. It's just hard to believe. And then these two, I came off here with just, uh, th this is a grow bag, uh, and these are uh, uh, burpless, these are, uh, bush burpless cucumbers. First time I've ever grown a bush. And these just have a, an emitter on them. And you can buy emitters that are one gallon per hour, two gallons per hour. Um, I went with a two, two gallons per hour. And I've just got them sitting up in here, up in the grow bag, close to the base of the plant. And when I fertilize, I've got an injection system from Haas. When I use it to fertilize, then I, uh, uh, of course, the fertilizer just goes directly to the plant. Look at those. Those are three feet tall. I usually do regular uh, cucumbers like these. These are just a regular uh, purpose cucumber. And they will, I've got some places where them, for them to grow up, they'll grow up five feet tall and then they'll they'll want to keep going. They, uh, they love to grow, love to climb. And as you can see, I need to do a little better job of training. So I'll wrap that around and it'll, one of those tendrils will, will grab that and take off skyward. Uh, they haven't got a cucumber yet. Boy, that's what I look forward to more than anything. It really is cucumbers. And then uh, same way with my homemade earth boxes and that's what these are. I've got, I, I, it's got a field tube like an earth box, but I went ahead for a while I had it down in the field tube and I just didn't see any reason to do it. The only reason I'm doing it on the earth box because it has a cover on it. My homemade ones do not have a cover on it. So I just didn't see any reason to do that. I've just got the, the emitter up in there just like I do on the grow bags, just at the base of the plant uh, feeding the dirt. And uh, man, I just came out here and picked squash this morning, and I missed that one. That sucker is huge. I let him get too big, but he's not bumpy. He's smooth. That's a. Uh, I'll have to look up what what kind it is. It's from Haas Tools, and I forgot the brand. But man, that's a beautiful squash. In fact, these squash plants are just beautiful. I, you know, I don't know whether they. I haven't seen any squash bugs. And I'm not saying they're not there, but I haven't seen any. 
and the plants you still look great there's another one down in there i need to pick probably it's nearly as big as this one i'll go ahead and get it we got some company coming over later so we'll do that i'll lay those down here and all these are the same as far as uh, all this irrigation is the same. I've just got the, the tube tapped into the, some of you may not know how to run irrigation. Basically, you just punch a hole in it in your main line, run your main line, punch a hole in it, and then run your quarter line, quarter inch line, uh, to where you want to direct the water. Um, Haas does not sell any quarter inch stuff. They sell uh, all, the, all the main line, the half inch stuff came from Haas the tees and all that stuff, but they don't sell a any quarter inch stuff. He said he needed to look into that because I asked him about some, and he said, hmm, I didn't think about that. So they may be uh, expanding to some quarter inch stuff because I know a lot of y'all uh, grow in containers, and in, when you're in containers, most of the time you need something, uh, some type of quarter inch, something besides drip tape, let's put it that way. So uh, the drip tape is underneath the mulch here, I showed that in another video when I first planted these, but the drip tape goes underneath and then I've got some um, uh, the, the beans and stuff planted on top of them. Those are, um, I'm sorry, I know when, you, when I pan the camera on wood chips it kind of throws your eyeballs out. Uh, those are um, yard lime green beans, those are rattlesnake. Uh, Rattlesnake green beans from Haas, and then that is a mixture. I've got on both sides. I've planted uh, two different things. I've like um, spaghetti squash and uh, trombone squash. So uh, that's and all these have all all the the grow arches, which is what this is a grow arch. All the grow arches have drip tape at the bottom of them. That's how that's how those are being watered. We we just got an inch of rain yesterday, so nothing's getting watered today. And I've got these grow bags. You'll notice we've got, got the grow bags in these um, tubs. Just any kind of tub will do. Go to go to uh, Dollar General and get you some tubs, something that you can fit your grow bags in. And uh, all all my uh, pumpkins are beginning to run. In fact, that fell out. There's, there's one of the emitters that go into the a little short. I need to make that hose a little longer and it goes up in there feeds that. But the uh, this is how I uh, this is how I irrigate these this garden. So let me show you and this is what I call a hybrid because it's got some emitters and it's got some drip tape. So let me show you some more irrigation uh, solutions that I found and most of them were through Hoss Tools. They're drip tape their irrigation supplies wonderful place to get all your irrigation supplies so let's go over and look at another part of the garden so here's the extension of my vegetable garden uh, i'll show you my blackberries even though they're not vegetables i've just got a setup here coming from the hydrant where i've uh, teed off i've come up i've run a half inch line all the way down the uh, on top of each one of these blackberries and in each one of them on top of each one of them, I punched a hole and put an emitter. That is a two gallon an hour, two gallon per hour, two, two GPH emitter. And these earth boxes are a little bit different. I ran a line down through here, and I don't know whether you can see that black line right there. Right about there. I ran it, um, come over here. To, uh, to the edge of it here. I ran it all the way down, just like I did the blackberries. And some of these, since they're earth boxes, they have the fill tubes and have covers on them. So th those are not getting any rain. So I've got, um, I could just put a straight tube in it, but I went ahead and put an emitter on it. That one is adjustable. It's not two gallons per hour. It's an adjustable emitter because I wasn't sure how quick the earth boxes would fill up vis-a-vis -vis the um, grow bags and the the uh, hybrid tubs that I have so I wasn't real sure about that so I went ahead and put tubes down the spout of each one of these and uh, in the earth box <clears throat> and this is the way earth box 
this is pretty much the system Earthbox sells uh, to uh, their automatic watering system. It's basically the same thing. They just sell a kit, and and you know I just did this with with mostly Hoss parts, but Hoss does not sell anything quarter inch. So everything quarter inch, I had to I had to scrounge on my own. These two earth boxes. I went ahead when I fertilized the other day, and I just punched a hole in the material here, the top cover, and I just put that hose down in there. It can either go in the tops of those, or it can go in the field hole down there. It really doesn't matter. Uh, and here. What I have done with these hybrid tubs is I just did the same thing. I punched the same thing as the blackberries. I punched a hole in it right there and put a two gallon uh, per hour emitter on them. And so they, these are pretty thirsty because this one, this one especially because I've got two plants in it. I've got two big tomatoes. They're five, they're taller than I am in the tub, taller than I am. But uh, they're real thirsty, and uh, and they're they're indeterminate. They're going to keep growing and keep going. These are determinate. The rest of them, most of the rest of them, are determinate. But if you don't know what a hybrid tub is, or a, if you don't know what a wicking tub is, uh, Mr. Leon is pretty one. He's pretty much the one that got everybody excited about these. Well, I've I'm, I made a bunch of his tubs. Most of those blue tubs are Mr. Leon's tub. What I call Mr. Leon's tub. These are what I've done is, is kind of made a hybrid of what Mr. Leon does. And uh, that one is not a hybrid. You can see the hole in the bottom of it. The, the, the uh, little hole there, the, uh, where is it right there? But these have a hole and a little spout in it. And these are my hybrid tubs. Uh, if you don't know what a hybrid is, I, I've got some videos on making Leons, and I've got another video on making what I call my hybrid. Look up there in the in the top, and I'll put a link, and I'll put also a link at the end of this video to my hybrid tubs, uh, how to make those hybrid tubs. I like them better. They're simpler. Uh, this is I don't know if they work any better, but it's just so much more simple. So, uh, but anyway, here's how I'm uh, uh, irrigating the. Um, Here's how I'm irrigating the tubs. A lot of people have asked because they're doing container gardens and they want to know how to irrigate. It's just that simple. These are grow bags, uh, two 10 gallon grow bags with, uh, with a pot underneath to catch the water. And I've just got the, the black hose. You can't really see it. There's so much veg vegetation, but I've got the black hose running across. And then I've got a uh, honey emitter that just drips down into the grow bag. The, over there, I used a hose and, and had the hose going into the, the grow bag in the other garden I just showed you. This one has just got emitters falling down in the grow bag. Easier way to do it. Don't have to work, work, worry with a quarter inch hose, anything like that. Just line your containers up and run your line down it and run a punch a hole in it and put an emitter on it. And you're done. That's, you're done. Do not be afraid of do not be afraid of drip irrigation it is just too very simple Hoss sells a kit that will do um that has the t's and the elbows and all that stuff in it uh and, and the uh, pressure regulator and the, the, all that other stuff in it that will get you started get you going container gardeners might definitely want to look into to uh irrigation also and having that little Having that little uh, emitter right there uh, is just, uh, gosh, it makes it easy. Don't be afraid of irrigating your garden. Just too easy. All right, I've shown you everything, and uh, that's it. Shoot, we're gone.